everybody, it's Billy the Fat Barbie and I'm coming to you from Charlotte, North Carolina at Horses Hot Fried Chicken. So today I'm going to be doing a food review. There are people passing, excuse me, there are people passing by. You may hear some people in the background, whoop de woo But we're going to go ahead and get started. I have driven an hour and 15 minutes to try this chicken. I have wanted to try hot chicken for quite some time. So I'm here with my son. He will be off camera. I do not show him on camera. But we're gonna get started. So you don't go inside to order. You can either, you have to order outside. Here is the menu. And then you go to this website to actually do the ordering. So I'm over here trying to figure out what I want. Um, they have an upstairs in here, or you can choose to sit outside. I'm gonna sit outside today. It is a beautiful day. So I will be back once I've actually picked something, guys, because. I normally I come down here I come to Charlotte every once in a while but I've never eaten here so I'll have to really look at this menu and figure some things out so I just ordered our food and you can actually sit up there guys I'm trying to decide if I want to sit up there or do I want to go over here and sit out here on the patio area um hold on a second I'm trying to aim it so my kids not in the frame so I did just do the payment process I, you know I thought I would just put my card information on the website did not like that process. They go through this thing called chow something, chow chow. And I had to put my card on my, in my wallet, on my phone. I had to make an account, I had to do, I mean, it, it was a lot. Um, so that part of the process, I will say, I did not like. Um, I felt like it was a little too much to do considering, but we will see how the actual food is. But I am very interested in the architectural design of this building and this area. It's a very beautiful area. Um, I mean, it looks like I'm in downtown. I'm on Martin Luther King Boulevard. There goes a bus. Um, there's some buildings behind me. People walk in the streets. It's a good day. It is a good day. Um, but yeah, the payment process, I did not like that. That's my only negative that I have to say so far. Once I get the food, I will show footage of me getting the food um, and tasting. I, well, I'll wait. I'll wait to show you guys what I got So before I go into all that. But so far, so good, other than the um, interesting payment process. These are some people on this really cool mobile bar. And they're singing. Turn up, turn up. <laughs> been to Charlotte in a little while um, like I said in the pre on some of the previous footage I live about an hour and 15 minutes from here and obviously I need to get back down here because it is pretty lit down here like I've never seen something like that before wow. that site that they have you pay on is called chownow.com um, like I said, I did have to go through a few hoops, adding my card to my wallet, on my phone, making an account, all to pay. Like, I, I feel like I should have just been able to put that on the website and let it go, but it was asking quite a bit. So, I, I did not like that part. Um, I did just want to come back and do a correction to, I said chow chow in the previous video, but the food should be ready around 4 o'clock. It's about 3 uh 350 345 right now so we then when i come back to you guys it should be sitting at the table getting ready to grow my child is restless he's ready for his food he is now over here trying to play with a stick and throw mulch we're gonna have to sanitize those hands before you can eat now which we would have done that anyway he's restless and hot and low-key hyperactive at times son please leave the stick alone baby mom life other people here trying to figure out how to order because as i stated previously the ordering process is different um very very different y'all like my fro hawk i ain't did a fro hawk in a minute a couple people just well four people just walked away because they were trying to figure out how to order and there's no one here to explain um all the information's on the building and you know i I, because I drove this hour to figure, you know, to try this place, that's exactly why, you know, I wanted to wait it out, and plus I wanted to try the food, so, you know, not complaining, I'm just, you know, I'm reviewing this, this is my opinion on the matter, um, but yes, I did witness four people just walk away, because it was just like, wow, oh, you gotta do all that just to order. <laughs> so, on the 
where I placed the order, it has a bar that was saying like the pickup time. So pickup time was four, it's like four or five now. I went around to ask the lady. Um, she was like, oh, you just wait outside to get the food. So there's a number, and so I just called the number. They thought, oh, they're finishing up a couple orders. We'll be bringing it out to you. So you have to sort of like, you have to call to like let them know that you're here too. So it's, it's very different. It's very, um, I'm, I'm ready to try the food because like I said, I, I would critique the sort of the way that they do things in regards to placing the order, the website, and you know, letting them know you're here and all whatnot. But we'll see how the food is. We'll see how the food is. I still have faith. So we got our food at 415. We are now on top of the building. Um, I'm gonna show you guys real quick. So we are on top of the building. And there is the passing traffic, y'all. Me and my son. Our food came in a box. So we about to see what's going on up in here. Sam, you hold it up straight, please. If I can figure out how to get in the box, actually. Note to self, I need to get a tripod carrier because having to carry that thing. Ooh, child. Y'all, I'm excited about this food. This food looks good. Hold on, baby. So I'm gonna let y'all look in, child. Look at the grub. Look at the grub. So we got ranch. Yay, ranch! We've got it's it's ours, Leo. And then we got this macaroni and cheese. There's Yay! my son's chicken. I didn't get any hot stuff on his. And then mine has the hot sauce on it. He's very excited. You'll have to excuse him. I want to eat it. Yes, son. Hold on just a second. Y'all know I don't like to sweat, but I am sweating a little bit. Ooh. I'm about to try the macaroni and cheese first. I'm lowering the camera down. Y'all have seen me the whole video. It's okay if I'm sort of cropped out just a little bit. So we're gonna, we're gonna try this macaroni and cheese. Okay. Let me get let me get another little bite here. Okay. It's good. From a scale from one to ten, one being the worst, ten being the best. I would give it I would definitely give it a good six. A good six. I'm not, I do not regret buying it, but it, it could stand some improvement, but it's not bad. My son's over there eating his, I'm, I'm gonna show you again. Here's one of his regular wings. And here's one of mine. I'm only drinking water these days. He's drinking a Sprite. Music just bumping down through town. I like it here. getting my hands dirty I should have brought a glove but I guess for the sake of you know what we're doing here so bit the meat part yet just the just the crust so hold on okay definitely has a kick
definitely a pick. So, hmm. I'm really trying to be accurate with y'all. It's a, di it's really different flavor. I like it. So big one. I'm gonna try it with some ranch and then I'll tell y'all what I think. Because, oh, I think that's gonna be a good ranch too. Let me dip one in the ranch real quick here. And then I'm gonna give y'all, or tell y'all what I think about it. chicken here. You want more? So I would give the chicken a good solid one more bite. <laughs> Y'all probably tired of me by now. I'm just trying to make sure like because it's different. Like I've not tasted chicken like this before. Mm. Hold on, Liam. Oh, just leave it right there. There's a kick, but it's not too much. As you can see, I barely drank my water so far. Give it an eight. Liam, what do you think about your food, babe? So I didn't tell y'all exactly what I ordered. I showed it to you, but I didn't tell you. So I got 10 plain salt and pepper wings for my son. And of course, he likes hot stuff, but because he's young, you know, I don't want to burn his mouth up. So he got 10 plain and I got 10 hot. And then there's macaroni and cheese. He got a Sprite and I got a water. Um, I may have actually said some of that at the beginning of the video, but I didn't want to go into further explanation because people will be like, oh gosh, she's giving him her kid hot chicken. No, he has plain. These are his, they're plain. But he says he really likes it too. Um, like I said, it's really good. Um, I've never had hot chicken like that before. The only hot chicken I've ever had is like Texas P or my own sauce that I've made. But as you can see on these, they have a coating. Like they have a dusting that they have put on it. And it's really good. There's even a piece of, couple pieces of toast in here I did not realize are in here. My kid's over there tearing his up. Like I said, I don't show him on camera like that. No, I don't show his face. So he can't really, you know, he's, I don't know if you guys heard him a few seconds ago in the background. He's like, it's really good. It's a good location. People pass by a lot here. Um, and it's the city. So this is one of the hot spots in North Carolina, Charlotte. Winston Salem, Greensboro, Raleigh. Raleigh's the capital. Don't make a mess, son. Try not to. I'm gonna play around with this macaroni. I'm gonna move some of this chicken and try the piece of toast, which, you know, that ain't the focal point of why I came. So I ain't even worried about it if it's not all that. See, they laid it on top of that and it's got that sauce on it. But we're gonna see what it's gonna do. Mm. 
Meh. It's all right. I ain't even worried about that. <laughs> I wouldn't come back for the bread, no. Here, baby, here. Be careful. My son stole the ranch. <laughs> So, my son has four left. I have um, I have like six left myself. I've really been eating on the macaroni. The macaroni grew on me a little more. I still stand on my um, rating of a six for the macaroni. Um, but it did grow on me a little more because I was eating a little bit more of it to counter out some of the heat of the chicken. The chicken's not overwhelming, but I'm just not used to the, the dusting flavor. I actually had the impression that it was going to be like a like a sauce, but it's a dusting. It's it's literally like some stuff they sprinkled on it, but um, some hot stuff they sprinkled on it, excuse me. But it's good. I, I do like it. Um, I would give it, the, for the entirety of the food itself, I would give the food a good, solid... Let me think about it. Because I want to be accurate. I want to be accurate and be my give my true feelings. So I gave this macaroni a six and I gave the chicken an eight. So I'm going to say that I would give in total I would give I would give this place a good I would give the place an eight. I would give them an eight. The only thing that I didn't like is I sort of don't like how they box it up. I don't like that they put the bread underneath it to like sort of soak up some of the hot stuff I think the bread might have would have even been better like I don't really care for the bread um I also sorry there's a lab car going by Ugh, I think it's one of those SRTs something else I would have I think they need to have an inside they need a bigger spot because you physically can't go in the only thing that you can go inside of is like a gift shop to buy stuff like novelty stuff downstairs which I didn't get footage of that um you either have to sit outside on this uh, upstairs out, outside where I'm at we can go out in this other patio area and you know it's it's 90 degrees today so i, I would that, that was a downside that was a downside as well and as i talked to about in the beginning of the video i didn't really like um the the transaction part having to pay like i didn't like not being able to just go and put my information on the website and be done with it i had to go through a couple hurdles and some hoops to pay so your pencil's in the floor. You can drop it in the chair. My son is upset because he can't find his pencil. Um, it is a little shady under here. I still, again, would have liked to be inside. But, you know, this is the convenience of this area. Is, I, I can understand what they put it here. But overall, yes, I give Horace's Hot Chicken an 8. There are a couple things I would work on. Um, but it's a good. It's good. And you guys should try it. If you're in Avery, North Carolina, please come out. Please come to Horace's out in Charlotte, North Carolina on Tryon Street. Um... I did, it was worth the drive and it was honestly a good outing for me and my son like us to spend some good, some time together this weekend where I'm not working um, he's happy and full over there and I think I'm done like I said I ended up eating four of them and then I ate most of this macaroni um, I've been trying to cut back a little bit myself anyway so I'm done I'm gonna take the rest home and this is gonna be a snacky snack later tonight I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Horace's hot chicken in Charlotte North Carolina like I said it was a great experience a couple hiccups a couple things I didn't like and I did mention it and comment on it in the video but overall great location beautiful area and it was overall good time and a chill day to chill with my son on my day off um, Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting me. No, no, no. Stay right here. He's already ready to go. Thank you for supporting my channel. Thank you for supporting me. Be looking out for new videos. Um, I know I've been gone for a minute. I know I've not posted in some months. But I definitely will be back and more consistent quite soon. Um, I thought this would be something fun to drop for you guys. And I really appreciate your love and support. Well, until next time, this was the Adventures of Fat Barbie.